The first time I knew that I was inferior, I probably was 18 months old. I knew that we were untouchables. Untouchability means actually untouchability. You cannot touch them. Caste is a forced occupation based on your birth. When I first came to America, people treated me equally. In fact, even in the beginning, I used to feel, uh, what if they touch me, uh, they're, you know, they're going to be polluted. One time, he, my, a boyfriend of mine was eating from something that I already touched, and he was going there, and I said, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. I touched it, I touched it, and his heart broke, like, uh, you're not in, a, in, in India anymore. Hinduism, more or less, is an ideological, religious prop for this social system that is caste. Brahma, the creator, uh, the Brahmins are supposed to have come from uh, the forehead and the Kshatriyas from the arms, merchant caste from the thighs, service caste from legs. And untouchables are not part of any of uh, Brahma, the creator. What makes them untouchable is they are assigned hereditary duties that are considered filthy and menial by the Indian society. Like the hardest jobs are theirs and the filthiest jobs are given to them. Based on these different occupations, there are about, in my area, 52 different subcastes within untouchability. And my family is called Mala. Mala means uh, people who do agricultural labor. And there are others who do like removing dead animals, burning the dead people, and carrying away human shit. My stories, my family stories, were not stories in India. They were just life. Your life is your caste, your caste is your life. At 26, I came to America, where people know only skin color. Only in talking to some friends I met here did I realize that my stories my family stories are not stories of shame. It's not healed. It is not healed. The advice I give to untouchables that are still in India, I think that the best thing they can do is get jobs like I have in a crucial industry like MTA, if we don't work, then everything comes to a screeching halt. And it really gives a sense of like, you know, yes, your, your services are crucial to the society. That gives me a lot of self-confidence that I didn't have. I'm not going to be like saying um, America is great, but yeah, for untouchables, yeah, it is. And for me, it's uh, like pop music, Madonna, Bob Dylan, and it's an uh, intellectually free world. It's an escape for us. I would be judged by my nationality, but not by my caste. That gave me courage to think, what is untouchability and why am I an untouchable? I don't think uh, uh, there's any other solution for caste than demolishing the existing structure because caste had a particular economic uh, function and that's the purpose it served, division of labor. This is not a kind of thing that I can say, oh, change your minds and stuff. You break the structures that necessitate this sort of exploitation. Unless you break the structures, uh, this is all going to be a Band-Aid on a bullet wound.